Make your blood boil? Make the cut? Make waves? What do they all mean? In this video, you'll learn over 20 idioms of the verb make to help you go from being an intermediate level English speaker to an advanced level English speaker. Our first idiom with the verb to make is to make the best of a situation or to make the most of a situation. And this idiom means to accept an unsatisfactory situation cheerfully and try to manage as well as you can. For example, despite the rain, we decide to make the most of our beach vacation by visiting a nearby maritime museum. In this sentence, a maritime museum is a museum all about exploration, trade, and travel on the oceans or other large bodies of water. Our next sentence says, after losing his job, Tom decided to make the best of the situation by using the time to learn new skills. Next, we have the idiom to make one's blood boil, which means to make someone extremely angry. For example, the unfair decision by the referee made my blood boil during the soccer match, and the constant delays and excuses from the service provider were enough to make anyone's blood boil. Does anything make your blood boil? Let me know in the comments. Now let's jump to the idiom to make a comeback. To make a comeback means to recover or achieve success after a period of decline or setback. Our first example sentence says, after a few challenging years, the company made a comeback with a series of innovative product launches. Next we have, the athlete's determination and hard work helped him make a comeback after a career-threatening injury. A career-threatening injury is an injury that has the potential to harm someone's ability to continue to succeed in his or her career. We usually use this when talking about sports. Next up, we have to make the cut or to make the grade. Both of these mean to meet the required standards or expectations, especially in terms of performance or qualification. For example, Sarah studied hard to make the grade and secure a spot in the prestigious university. In this sentence, the adjective prestigious means very respected and admired. And my next sentence says, only the top three contestants will make the cut and advance to the final round of the competition. Continuing our list, we have the idiom to make one's day. This idiom means to greatly please or delight someone. It's an expression used when something positive happens, bringing joy or satisfaction. Our first sentence says, Receiving a heartfelt thank you note from a friend really made her day. In this sentence, the adjective heartfelt means sincere or from the heart. And our next example says, the unexpected compliment from a colleague made my day. Next, we have the idiom to make a dent in something. This means to have a noticeable impact or effect on a task, problem, or quantity. For example, despite the overwhelming workload, the team managed to make a dent in the project by completing the first phase ahead of schedule. Our second sentence says, we barely made a dent in our Thanksgiving turkey. We should cook a smaller one next year. So in this case, the family cooked a turkey that is really big and they hardly ate any of it, so they have a lot left over. The idiom to make do means to manage or cope with what is available, often in a makeshift or resourceful manner. Our first example says, with limited ingredients in the kitchen, we had to make do with a simple but satisfying meal. And our second sentence says, the team had to make do with outdated equipment until the new supplies arrived. In this sentence, we use the adjective outdated to mean old or old fashioned and therefore not as good or as useful as something more modern or more recent. Right here, we have the idiom to make ends meet, which means to maintain financial stability and to have enough income to cover expenses. For example, after taking on a part-time job, Mitch was able to make ends meet and cover his monthly bills. And learning effective budgeting strategies helped Gene make ends meet while pursuing higher education. Higher education refers to education beyond high school, such as at colleges or universities. Our next idiom to make one's head spin is to cause confusion or bewilderment or to overwhelm or astonish someone. Our first example sentence using this idiom is, the complex instructions for assembling the bookshelf made his head spin. Our next example sentence says, trying to understand the details of the scientific theory 
made the student's head spin. Our next idiom, to make a killing, is a lot less violent than it sounds. It means to achieve substantial financial success or profit, especially in business or investment. For example, the entrepreneur made a killing with the launch of the innovative product, and the real estate agent made a killing when area property values skyrocketed. Here we have the idiom to make a last ditch effort. This means to make a final, desperate attempt to achieve something, often when other options have failed or time is running out. Our two examples here are, with only seconds left in the game, the team made a last ditch effort to score the winning goal. And facing imminent closure, the struggling business owner made a last ditch effort to attract customers with a special promotion. In this sentence, the adjective imminent means about to happen. Next up, we have the idiom make light of something. The idiom make light of something means to treat a serious or important matter with humor or indifference, or to downplay the significance of something. For example, despite the challenging circumstances, Mark always finds a way to make light of a bad situation and keep the team's spirits high. And instead of addressing the issue seriously, Jack tends to make light of problems making it difficult for others to take him seriously. Here we have the idiom to make a mountain out of a molehill. This means to exaggerate or magnify a minor issue, turning something small into a much bigger problem than it actually is. Our first example says, instead of calmly addressing the mistake, Jared made a mountain out of a molehill and caused unnecessary stress in the office. And our second example says, it's just a small scratch on your car's bumper. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Next up is the idiom to make one's mouth water, which means to make someone hungry for something, to evoke a strong craving for food or enjoyment. For example, the waiter's description of the dish on the menu made our mouths water. Another sentence using this idiom is the sight of the beautifully presented sushi platter made John's mouth water. This idiom, to make a pass at someone, means to try to begin a romantic or sexual relationship with someone. Our first sentence using this idiom is, James felt uncomfortable when a colleague made a pass at him during the office party because he was already in a relationship. Our second example says, Lisa was surprised when her longtime friend made a pass at her as their relationship had always been platonic. In this sentence, the adjective platonic is used to describe a close bond or friendship that is not romantic or sexual in any way. Here we have the idiom to make one's peace with someone, and this means to reconcile or resolve conflicts with another person, or to come to terms with and find a state of harmony after disagreement or misunderstanding. For example, after years of not talking to each other, Susan decided it was time to make peace with her estranged sister and mend their relationship. In this sentence, estranged means to be no longer close or affectionate to someone. Our next sentence says, the two co-workers had a heated argument, but they eventually made their peace with each other and started getting along again. The phrase here, to get along, means to be friendly. Next up we have, to make the rounds. To make the rounds means to visit or circulate among a group of people or places, or to go from one place to another in a systematic way. Our first example says, the new assistant principal made the rounds and introduced herself to all the teachers. Our second example sentence says, during the party, the host made the rounds to ensure that all the guests were comfortable and enjoying themselves. Here's the idiom to make something from scratch, and we use this when talking about food items. This handy cooking idiom means to prepare a dish or food item using basic ingredients without relying on any pre-packaged or pre-processed components. For example, instead of buying store-bought cookies, Emily decided to make oatmeal cookies from scratch using her grandmother's recipe. Our next sentence says, this restaurant makes its noodles from scratch instead of serving noodles from a box. Next up here, we have to make up one's mind. This means to reach a decision or come to a conclusion or choose a course of action after considering all the options. Our first sentence says, after much deliberation, Joyce finally made up her mind about which university to attend. The noun deliberation means a long and careful consideration or discussion about something. 
And our next example sentence says, trying to decide between two vacation destinations, the couple took a few days to make up their minds. The idiom to make it up to someone means to compensate or take actions to amend a wrongdoing or mistake, or to do something good for someone after causing them inconvenience or harm. For example, after realizing he had forgotten their anniversary, Byron decided to make it up to his wife by planning a surprise weekend getaway. One definition of a getaway is a short holiday. And after accidentally breaking his friend's laptop, Alex promised to make it up to him by covering the costs of repairs. Here we have the idiom to make waves. To make waves means to be very active so that other people notice you, often in a way that intentionally causes trouble. For example, the politicians' bold statements during the debate were intended to make waves and draw attention to key issues. And you have a lot of good ideas, but you just got hired. Try not to make any waves until you've been here a few months. Try using one of today's idioms the next time you are speaking with someone in English or down below in the comments. If you found this video helpful, hit those outstanding like and subscribe buttons. See you in the future!